Hi guys, how are you all doing? This is MJT Reviews here again, back with another awesome uh, kit review for you. Um, on my ventures to Red Car, which is a local town of mine, um, it's quite far from me, but I figured I would travel there, travel there anyway. <coughs> and I stumbled along this Achi D3A1 Val. Now, the Val Bomber was very, very typical in the Pearl Harbor um, attacks, um, which I really hated the Pearl Harbor attacks because I just found it really, really unfair what um, happened. Um, it was such an unfair attack. Um, but because the Americans decided to have um, like their torpedo bombers, they had um, the Devastator, they had the Avenger, and they had the SPD Dauntless. Um, on the um, Japanese side of it, they had the Val, which was a dive bomber, the same as the SBD Dauntless. They had the Kate, which was a torpedo bomber. And I believe they had um, some other fighters as well, normally the Zero, um, which was another famous fighter that they had on the American side of it. The, the other fighter on the American side was the P-40 Warhawk. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I stumbled along this nice little cheap kit. Um, it was only about four or five pound. Um, box art's really really nice. Um, I'm not sure on the uh, tooling of the kit. I think it's an old tool kit because um, it had um, raised panel lines on there. And on the side of the box here, it gives you information. So. The length is 138mm, the width is 199mm and it has 34 pieces. And we get the information. So it says about it being the first Navy aircraft to bomb American targets at Pearl Harbor, which it was. Proved to be an accurate and effective dive bomber in the opening stages of the Pacific World War. It was manoeuvrable as many fighters proved this during dogfights. With early Allied Pacific fighters such as Wildcats, however, as Allied fighters opposition developed, the Val soon proved to be a vulnerable opponent. Slow and poorly defended, the Val was obsolete by 1943. However, it did continue to serve, seeing service later as a kamikaze weapon. So, basically, they decided just to use it as a kamikaze weapon. Okay. Well, so, first we greeted with plastic. Okay. And, however, we get the uh, details, the information booklet, and... You get this, which is join the Airfix Club. Well, I don't really bother with stuff like that, to be honest with you. The decals, however, are very, very nice on this. Um, they've got a very nice matte finish to them. Um, yeah, they're all right. Not bad. Um, I'm going with the front cover on this one, guys. So I'm going to be doing it that colour, which is a green version. I'm not going with the white one. I just think it looks a bit too basic, so I want a bit of style. Anyway, let's get to the manual. So it's a very simple booklet. It's not flash or anything. It doesn't have those pictures that Ravel put on there, which is a shame. I think uh, that could be a new one for Airfix to do, but I haven't got round to that one yet. Uh, right. So you got your stages put it all together I don't bother with putting the men inside like I might on this one I don't know yet it depends so we've got eight stages all together so it's a pretty simple basic standard uh, kit not bad for four or five pounds to be honest obviously that's someone I'm going with this one right here which is Pearl Harbor December the 7th 1941 excellent I didn't want to go with that one because it's just too basic to me. But everybody has their own opinions, which they are entitled to. <coughs> so, 
and this is the kit guys so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put that there sorry for the blackout guys but I have to open the kit so that you all have a look right, <coughs> right I'm back again so everything just all came in just one bag so that's not very good um, the clear glass looks to be okay but it might be a little bit of a bug to put on not sure but I can go in there here are the wings yeah they are raised panel lines like which is not good I hate raised panel lines and I can definitely tell that this is an old reform kit in a new box because it just doesn't even look like a new kit it just looks like an old one to me normally they would have dates on it and what do you know it does so let's see if I can zoom in 1985 yep yeah, it's an old kit and you can also tell by look at them raised panel lines there yeah well I suppose I can't really complain that much for it being the price it was yeah, it raised panel lines all over the place it's got no flash on it so that's a bonus Uh, look at that engine work that's inside there. I see more detailed engine in a Ford Fiesta than that. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> what the hell is that Hefix? Come on. There's no in detail of the cockpit or anything like that, but then again. We've got another little daft part here. Well, that's what you get guys <coughs> with the kit, so not very much to be honest you just get the wings just get the wings the clear glass and the decals so yeah if you're going out your way and you want to buy a little cheap kit yeah i'd go and buy this one it goes well with like if you're building japanese stuff or if you're building your pearl harbor stuff it's a great little addition to your, uh, your collection so yeah guys uh nice little kit thanks for watching <laughs> bye now